The WBS dictionary is a document, most of the time as an Excel sheet. It lists all WBS components with detailed information in regards to deliverable activities and scheduling. This document is to support the WBS. How WBS dictionary looks like. It could include the following information, code of account identifier, description of work, assumptions and constraints, performing organization, schedule milestones, associated schedule activities, resources required, cost estimates, quality requirements, acceptance criteria, technical references and agreement information. In fact, you can add more columns as more information needed. The second output is Project Documents Updates, which is an updating activity. Which documents should be updated after creating the WBS? The major one is the requirement documentation. Because the WBS process may cause a change in the requirements, which should be approved and updated in the requirement documentation. Here we arrived to my favorite slide where we visualize the information. We had five inputs to create the WBS. The scope management plan, it's an output from the plan scope management process. And the project scope statement from the process of defining the scope. The requirements documentation from the collect requirements process. Also the enterprise environmental factors and organization process assets, such as policies, procedures and templates. After performing the tools and techniques, we came out with the scope baseline and project document updates. The scope baseline will be needed in seven other processes. In develop project management plan process, because it is a part of the project management plan. We need it also in the define activities process. Estimate costs process. and determine budget. Also, we will need it in identify risks and perform qualitative risk analysis processes. And we will need it to validate the scope in monitoring and controlling process group. The second output is an updating activity for the project document such as requirement documentation. 